Hey everybody, Three Drinks Down, I'm Nate. I'm James. And today we've got part three of the best available value bourbons for you. Let's go. Woo! All right, so if you haven't watched the first two, please go back and watch these before watching this one or you will be extremely confused. But basically what we're doing is we're taking nine bourbons that we consider to be in that middle tier, but at the lower end of them, and we're doing them completely blind. We have three each time we do a video. So this will be our third one of the three sets. Makes sense? Yep. Right? And we have two winners so far that we on to the finals. Today, we'll qualify the last one for the finals. We know which nine bottles these are. We just don't know the order we're tasting them. But let's take a minute real quick and ask you if you could kindly please hit the like button. It would really help us out. It would. And yeah. if you haven't, subscribe. Okay, that'd be awesome too. And if you're already subscribed, hit the notification bell if you would, please. All right, let's waste no more time. Let's get into this. This is episode three. So now we've done six. This is the seventh. We're wearing the same shirts and uh, stuff. So you know it's all on the same day. You're just seeing it different days. Correct. So number seven, number one in episode three. Let's get it. It's a really weird thing to tell you guys. I'm sorry. All right, let's spin. The nose. Campfire. Okay. 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 Campfire, huh? Not, not anymore. It kind of hit me. There's a burning wood. More like really sweet, but like spicy. Yeah, I was about to say this is a. Uh... That campfire was the first thing that hit my nose. But now I'm going more like sweet, spicy. Yeah, Which... I was about to say I think this is a higher rye mash bill. Uh, definitely a bit of a spicy. Do you have a guess? Because apparently that's what we're doing here, James. I don't have a guess yet. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm a dick. There is kind of like a weird old funky wood as well as this um, sour, almost. A little sour wood. I don't hate it. I don't, I don't love it. I don't love it either. Yeah, it's all right. To, to the Down tasting. the hatch. Weird wood is like that sour wood is really prevalent. And the spice too. Finish. I get so, ooh, okay. Whoa. All right, I'm gonna reserve full full judgment for a second sip. My initial thought was soft serve ice cream in a cone, but then it went really awkward. What? It's wild. Well, only because there was there was a nice soft sweetness component up front, and then it just turned <sighs> like that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say I don't like this. It's slightly thin, but again, in this range, again, I get kind of a. A vanilla waffle cone that goes away really fast. Uh, actually, you know what? I can get with you on that. You don't have to. No, 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 no. I really can though. I really can. But it it it's only in like the very front of your palate, and then and it then it goes like, to just dank wood. That sour wood yeah. weirdness, yeah. Along with that spice character, that almost comes across like the proof. Really weird. Um, not starting off great. No, it's fine. Drinkable, but not not great. All right, on let's, to number two. Let's go do the number two. He loves that. What are you talking about? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Let me see if you go where mine went initially. I think you might. You want to do the whole say the same word, the first one word? Um. Oh, it's changing. Oh, damn. My, yeah. my first pull of this was very one wordy. I have like a pretty immediate reaction to what I think this is. I think it's a weeded product. Um, I could support you there. And then I'll say the word out loud. I went barbecue at first. I don't get that. Oh, okay. No, I don't get as much anymore. So again, I did talk through that clearly, right? Yes, you understand. But I do get definitely not a corn as corny of a presence. I got star anise mixed in with like, um, like a lemon custard. It's kind of strange. Have you had that before? No, that's why it's weird. It's very strange. Can you get there at all? I could, I, I could see what you're talking about. It's particularly lemon, like honestly, as, as, it, as it starts to open and I swirl a bit more and I sniff it, but the star anise is, is always a tough one for me because I'm not sure if that's just coming across as rye spice or just pure star anise, right? Like, cause there's, there's a difference. Well, and then that makes me second guess if it's makers, because if there's- We're like, not guessing, James. Well, I said it was a weeded, weeded product, at least, at least from the initial rip, but if there's some rye spice here, then probably not. I don't know, let's drink. Yeah. 
Definitely weeded. Yeah, I think one hundred percent weeded. I think this is makers. Um, it's almost soft. hay like. Yeah, soft though. Nice. Yeah, it's actually enjoyable compared to number one. Very much so. I would say it is the most comparative to number two in the first episode. That was like really boring but sweet. Similar concept. No, no, this would blow number two in the first episode away. I, I'm just saying it's comparatively as far as that profile. Like it's not overly complex. It's just kind of like rounded and sweet. Lemons coming through ton. Yeah, it's more custardy, lemon custardy. Yeah. Um, the star anise is not there anymore, which is nice because I don't like star anise. But the problem is it just dies. Mm. It's the back of your palate. It's gone. It, it lives on the front of your palate for a little while, but it's gone. I think that we she get that it. with a lot of lower proof weeded products. There's no doubt. I mean, I, it's not a knock on it. I think we identified this as a weeded product. I, I, if we're wrong, we're wrong. And you guys can laugh and put ha 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 in the comments again. Yeah, we might be wrong. Or you just do that if you want. I don't care. Either way, I think what we're saying is it's enjoyable. Uh, finished eyes, but sweet, rounded, nice. Better than number one. Not great. Agreed. Number three. Don't forget to swirl. Aggressively. Whoa. Okay. okay, here we go. Thank God. There's a good Whoa. there's a good bourbon amongst these three. Better. Better because this strikes me as you're gonna say slightly floral, you're gonna say some other things, but it also strikes me as touch corn tortilla. I'm with you there. It's definitely on the corn tortilla side. Man, I just got on my nose somehow. I don't know how. I only turned the glass this far and it got on my nose. <laughs> I don't understand it. We've been drinking. A few. I can't get past that it feels youthy. Like that's when I smell corn tortilla, I think youthy. And that's not me with a lisp. That's me saying youthy. It's really funny. I, I think your initial con like a um, initial deduction of number one on the nose with that waffle cone thing. I think it actually is here in number three as well. Maybe the actual waffle cone itself as it's cooking. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I can go with you there. I guess that, you, that could, press, that, you could, that you could yeah, you could say like smell. actual waffle, like just being cooked. It's it's grainy, I think, is the issue. I just got something real weird. Hang on, because I'm sensing there's something there that's greenish. Yeah, what is that? That's funny that we're saying this and you moved, but like there's something green in there, and I don't know what it is. It smells young. That's my issue with this. I think is it smells young. When I say green, I literally mean like a green. Okay, so don't don't take this as what I think it is, but chopped uh, parsley or chopped something. Right? I actually think I'm on green apple. Mm, maybe. Let's get into the taste. Ass That's aldehyde. Good. Excuse me? What'd you call me? An ass aldehyde. I deserve that. That's fair. Agreed. Let's drink. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure I dig the finish on that entirely. It doesn't want to go one direction. Like not the band, because or the band, I don't know. Not the, not the group one direction. There's is, apple, there's vanilla sweetness, there's spice. Yeah. And it finishes just flat. It is the most complex of the three though. It is, but is that a good thing? I'd say in this instance, maybe it is, but. I don't think we're gonna tell you which one before we go off camera for a minute, which one we're gonna drop out. Like we did the previous two videos. We knew that number two was number two, but we don't know right now. So we'll be right back. What I could say at this point is I know number two is out now. Number two is out and I feel like I have a pretty clear winner personally. What about you? I got an A, B, one and three again. Okay. Real quick. I give the nose to number one. There's zero question, it's Stroop Waffle, it's all that. Okay, I'm ready. All right, so one of the hardest ones we've had so far, episode three, Nate, on three. One, two, three. One. Three. Oh, but We're in trouble. Yikes. Okay, so we don't agree. Um, this is interesting. I feel like the first two rounds were decisive. They were absolutely decisive. This one was a lot harder or else it wouldn't have AB'd all three again. ABC'd, I guess. I am not, couldn't be sold that one is 100% superior to three. Are you in a boat where you say three 
is absolutely superior to one. Yes, and the reason why is, while I'll give the slight edge to the nose on number one, I think that number three overall is more complex, has a better finish, and has a slightly better mouthfeel. That is where I'm giving the edge, so it's just like, it's just ever so slightly. Um, I'm also considering this is gonna go up against the first two that we have chosen. I think this has a better shot because it's not a one trick pony. Number three has a better finish. So if anything, Correct. I could give you that. So I will defer and go to number three. Number three is the winner. We'll move on. This has been episode three of available value bourbons for you.